What's up guys? Welcome back to Peck Pong. Today we're going to talk about the most requested uh, topic that I ever get asked. It's about how to get better at moving. How do I get better at moving? How do I move better? I don't know. But <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to go through a couple different ways that I uh, find that I can improve my moving and hopefully you can too. Stick around for the end of the video uh, because I have a bonus video, something a little fun video that I made. Um, about like footwork and training and some of the exercises I do. So stick around and you can see that or maybe you can just skip to the end and see it. I don't care. It doesn't really bother me. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> so the first topic is probably fundamentals of moving. That's a, probably a good place to start. And when you do this, you want to have your feet shoulder width apart, a little bit more maybe, and your knees bent and your chest forward and the weight should be on the balls of your feet. And this is a really good setup. It's kind of like a basketball position, uh, like when you're guarding someone in basketball, similar. It's similar to that. <clears throat> but yeah, this sets up everything to go properly. This kind of moving helps to uh, keep, keep your balance better and it lets you to put the energy into the ball as well as uh, recovering very well for the next ball. The fastest way to improve your moving, in my opinion, is to practice moving drills in table tennis. Uh, so things like multi-ball are the best, I think, because you can focus on moving and not so much about hitting the ball on the table, which is perfect because you're trying to improve moving and you can work on putting the ball on later. Some drills you can do are some side to side, in to out. You can do small moving drills as well as large moving drills. And it's also important to do uh, drills where you know where the ball is going so you can practice perfect footwork. And then it's also good to practice drills where you don't know where the ball is going so you practice that random uh, aspect of moving. And it's really important that when you start, you want to make sure you start slow because it's you know if you're trying to do too fast, then you're probably just going to be doing bad habits and you're probably going to have a lot of off-balance shots and you won't get better. But if you start slow and like build it up, you're, you're going to be a lot more successful. Kind of like when you're learning a new song on the piano. If anybody I know plays piano, your teacher never says, um, okay, now let's play this song that you just learned as fast as you can. <laughs> that just, that doesn't happen. Start slow and then kind of build your way up. And then as you become more comfortable with the chords and the finger positions, and all that kind of thing, then you can kind of uh, speed it up as you get more comfortable. All right, so let's talk about some exercises you can do off the table. And this is specifically meaning exercises at the gym. I like to do uh, lunges, I like to do squats, I like to do uh, core, because if you don't have good core, that's the connection from your legs to your upper body. You're not gonna have um, good stabilization and good coordination if you don't have good core. So that's extremely important. Um, and then another one is to do hamstrings as well as uh, squats because it's important to do opposing muscle groups uh, to make sure that you're balanced. You don't want to be too strong in one area and not so strong in the other. So make sure you do those um, opposing muscle groups. And then also I do some calf raises and yeah, you can also do some plyometrics, like jumping on boxes. Be careful, because this can be a little bit dangerous if you're a little bit too ambitious. Um, but yeah. And the last topic I want to cover is cross sports training. And this probably has to be one of my favorite forms of training, just because uh, it keeps things uh, fresh and new. And you're going to learn new skills, uh, the, like the proprioception in your body. You're going to have more awareness of what your legs are doing, what your hands are doing. Uh, when you're trying different sports, because the different sports require you to move in different ways and to have like different timings and things like that. So different cross-training sports that I like to do are 
basketball, biking, tennis, badminton. I like to uh, throw the frisbee around with my friends, um, as well as soccer. You know, swimming's a good one. So yeah, I like to just really mix it up and play like a lot of different sports because, yeah, you're gonna have that new awareness in your body, and also you're gonna be having more fun because, you know, it's a new sport. You're having you're competitive, and you're gonna be training like building muscle. Uh, without even thinking about it, so you're probably going to be ending up doing these exercises for longer, because you know you're not thinking about uh, running on a treadmill where you're just counting the minutes till you're done. So this is probably my, like I said, my favorite form of training, and something that I think a lot of great athletes also do is uh, cross sports training because of the added benefits. So that's my video for today. I hope you got a lot from that. Uh, and hopefully it sprung up some new ideas about how you can improve your training. And now I will let you guys watch my feature film uh, that I made. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.